We have a CNN exclusive this morning, a stunning allegation from the House January 6th committee, and CNN is now learning that the committee says the top ethics attorney in the Trump White House urged a key witness to give them misleading testimony. Sources say that Stephen Pasatino urged Cassidy Hutchinson to tell the committee she did not recall details that she did recall. Details like her testimony that former President Trump insisted on being taken to the Capitol despite knowing there were armed protesters there. Pasantino told her to avoid topics that would cast a bad light on Trump, urging her, quote, no, 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 we don't want to go there. Here with the exclusive reporting is CNN's Paula Reed. Paula, we saw this in the summary that the, that the committee released, and there was some speculation about who this person was, and now we've learned more about it. Exactly, Caitlin. The committee did not identify these people, but CNN has learned that Stefan Pasantino, the top ethics attorney in the Trump White House, is the lawyer who allegedly advised his then client, former White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson, to tell the committee that she did not recall details that she actually did. And interestingly, Trump's Save America Political Action Committee funded Pasantino and his law firm, including paying for his representation of Hutchinson. Now, in a statement to CNN, Pasantino said he didn't advise Hutchinson to mislead the committee. He said, quote, I represented Ms. Hutchinson honorably, ethically, and fully consistent with her sole interests as she communicated them to me. Now, before her public testimony, Hutchinson dropped him and got a new lawyer. But, Caitlin, this is just one of several instances in which the committee has accused members of Trump's orbit of trying to obstruct the panel's investigation. And today, the House Select Committee is also expected to release the full final report. What are, what are we expecting this to look like? Well, Caitlin, in addition to releasing this comprehensive final report, the committee is also expected to begin releasing transcripts of some of the interviews that it's conducted behind closed doors. Now, Caitlin, there is one thing, pretty much just one thing, that people on all sides of this, DOJ prosecutors, Trump attorneys, lawmakers who are hostile to the committee, that they all agree on, and that is they all want to see these transcripts. And a source tells CNN that the Justice Department special counsel, Jack Smith, he sent a letter to the committee earlier this month requesting all of the information from this investigation. We've learned the committee has been sending documents and transcripts in the last week, focusing on evidence related to former Trump attorney John Eastman and former White House chief of staff Mark Meadows. Interestingly, the Justice Department also has Mark Meadows' text messages, which you may remember, those provided some of the most significant evidence released in this investigation so far. But in talking with the former president's legal team, they also want to see these transcripts. They believe there have been witnesses who have given testimony that undercuts the committee's narrative and that was excluded from public hearings. Now, the committee chairman tells CNN they will release hundreds of transcripts, but some witnesses with sensitive material the panel has, has vowed to protect. Can I jump right. in before you think or ask course. her? Paul, let me ask you something. You're an attorney, right? Recovering, but yes. Okay, so all the time we hear people in depositions, right? You and I were discussing this in depositions and in the courts asking, they're like, I don't recall. And they're saying, constantly saying, <laughs> I don't recall, I don't recall. Is it really unethical to say, to advise someone to say, I don't recall? Because we hear it all the time and you know they do recall. Well, well, here the problem is it appears that they had a conversation where he knew that she did recall some of these things. So if you mm. intentionally advise a client, to mislead a committee, which is, is the, the allegation that the committee was making, though they didn't specify who, you know, that, that's really playing at the edges of what is ethically, ethically sound. And, and again, this is part of a larger pattern that the committee is trying to set up, arguing the people in Trump's orbit were trying to obstruct this investigation. Now, there's no indication there'll be charges or anything like that. But ethically, no, if a client tells you, I remember this, to tell them, be like, no, no, you don't. I mean, that's, that's really pushing, pushing the bounds. Well, we certainly learned a lot about the legal system over the last seven years. Uh, <laughs> since this, uh, the former administration was in office. Paula right. Reid, thanks so much. Thank you.